Reeks Boxing here with the big fight prediction for tonight's middleweight unification bout between Canelo Alvarez and Daniel Jacobs. This has been a tough one to call. Um, a lot of these other predictions that I've done lately, you kind of favour one side, but this one, this one's so hard to call. Um, sorry, I'm a bit of a cold. Um, before I start, as they say, subscribe to the channel, like the video, even though you haven't watched it yet, so I don't know why people do that. Um, leave your comments, because I've got no one to talk to. Yeah, so, um, oh, this is a difficult one. It's a difficult one. Um, I don't know. It's, it's a weird one because it's like a head versus heart thing where because of Danny Jacobs' story, or Daniel Jacobs, Danny Jacobs, um, you know, beating cancer, um, the way he's come back from that, like suffered a knockdown got the guys when the eastern european guy he fought that knocked him out um the way he fought against canelo not canelo against triple g a lot of people thought he um beat triple g i don't personally think he beat triple g he done well in spots but the same just like with the triple g canelo fight um the first fight I gave both of those fights, that one to Triple G and the one against Jacobs to Triple G, simply because of his jab. People just look at power shots and think, oh yeah, look, he's landed the big shots, the big eye-catching shots. But every time they both took a break against Triple G, pop, jab in his face. Look, pop, jab in his face, jab in his face, jab in his face. And yeah, I feel today or tonight, they both won't have that problem of a jab being put in their face constantly. So I feel you may find a lot of periods where there'll be a lot of fainting, a lot of level changes, trying to get a reaction out of each other. Um, yeah, so the heart wants Jacobs to win, but the head want Canelo to win. And I believe he will win. He's just the all round superstar. Um, he's just got it all. Um, the combination punching, the ring generalship, the defense, um, great countering, um, just his general ring IQ is what I think will help him overcome the disadvantages that he has in this fight in terms of the natural size, um, maybe the speed as well, um, the reach. The height, he, he's coming in at the bottom end of it. So, but yeah, he's been there before, man. He's he's fought everyone, and um, he's fought so many different styles. But um, yeah, I'm gonna go for Canelo to win this on points. But I think it's gonna be a really good fight. It's not just the fact of just picking who's gonna win. I think the fight is gonna be so interesting. The fact that Jacobs. It's got the longer reach. If you look to the fight, because I like to use the Triple G fight because the common opponent, a common top level opponent. And um, it's like Jacobs is moving well. And we know Canelo doesn't do so well against movers. Mayweather, Lara. Um, obviously, that was a long time ago. He's improved considerably. But still, you look at those fights and how those guys gave him problems even the um austin trout but um yeah just his general movement and what he was doing with golovkin he was letting golovkin throw that jab and then he was countering kind of like when you watch the canelo triple g2 when canelo would wait for triple g to commit and then bah, quick combination and get out and they both loved the body work um this fight is crazy, man. The more and more I talk about it now, the more and more I think about it. It's a hard one to call. Like, um, obviously, Jacobs has got the reach. I feel it would be best for him, even though they're talking about walking him down and pressing the fight. I feel by him doing that, Canelo's not going to be backing up all day. He'll stay inside, or stay in fight distance anyway. He'll... He'll look to slip 
the shots that are coming in and counter straight away. And I feel Jacobs would be best served to fight on the back foot with his longer reach, his counter punching ability, his quick hands. Let Canelo walk in down, give him a lot of lateral movement, um, keep him off balance so he can't set his feet and um, counter away. But there's only so long he can do that for because Canelo's smart. Um, also, the, the switch hitting. Um, he's pretty open to that straight right hand when he's a southpaw. Um, but then he does throw a good left to the body, left to the body, left hook upstairs from the southpaw stance. Um, I don't know, it's an interesting one. The more and more I talk about it, as I said, it's just... Just new things just keep popping into my head. Um, they've both got power. Both got knockout power. Um, they both like to set traps. I feel Canelo's traps are, are better. He's more experienced. Um, it's a hard one to call, man. As you say, there, there could be a knockout in it, but I don't think there is. It will happen. I don't feel like they respect each other enough for there not to be a knockout. Um, they've both got good chins. Um, yeah, it's going to be interesting, man. I just can't wait for this fight. I'm absolutely buzzing. Um, I'm just, I'm just sitting here visualizing what's to come. Like, I think we're in for a real treat. Um, it's going to be one of the fights of the year. Definitely. As long as, um, they're not carrying any injuries. Cause you know, a lot of fighters go in. There's always something that's niggling them. I just hope they're, 100% healthy or if they're both 90% healthy um, and it's going to be an excellent fight man I can see it swinging from round to round one taking charge in one round another taking charge in the other round um, do you know we're in for a treat I swear on my life we're in for a treat and um, yeah obviously over here in England we've got to stay up and watch it as usual but I'm going to stay up to this one I'm going to set an alarm you know no more Fury Wilder that scarred me but um yeah man let me know your thoughts i'm going with canelo alvarez um points decision but you know what i was talking to one of my boys and he was like he thinks there could be a draw you know depending on how well jacobs does it could be a draw because we don't know if they're giving them a decision you know canelo's got this big contract he's the golden boy a close decision as you saw it's quite even called the first Triple G fight because that was clearly Triple G won that one. But a close decision like the second fight, he'll get the nod. Close decisions that in the past, he's gotten the nod. They even tried to give him a <laughs> some sort of decision when he fought Mayweather. But um, yeah, I'm buzzing for this. Buzzing, buzzing, buzzing. As I said, let me know your thoughts in the comments below. And um, yeah, man. Watch out for the reaction video after. And if you haven't seen, I've um, uploaded earlier today um, prediction video from the fans. So go and check it out. See what everyone else thinks about it. And um, yeah, peace. Thanks for watching the video, Reeks Boxing. If you enjoyed the video, just give it a little like down there. Like the video. Subscribe to the channel if you want to see more content like this. Just subscribe. Let me know in the comment section what you'd like to see us talk about, what sort of videos you may like to see. We get it cracking.